I'm just like, why? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's very Mellow Man, and welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Advanced Version. So, last episode, which is episode 19, we went on a hunt for the two new Pokemon you see on my layout. You'll get introduced to them shortly, but for now, let's just reintroduce everyone. I mean, reintroduce everyone in the beginning. <clears throat> so, first up, Randy Orton, the Mega Dissudii. Hypercard ability, level 60. Everyone's level 60 across the board. With Leaf Blade, Sucker Punch, Brave Bird, and his new attack, Crunch. Yeah, he, um, apparently the Mega Starters at level 60 can still get moves. So, everyone gets a level 60 move. Apparently, the Megas just strip get different move sets as they level up. So if you get them as soon as possible, your Mega Pokemon might have completely different move sets from what the um, non Mega Stars will end up with. Crunch is just the thing I was looking for, even though it's no. <sighs> it's a physical move, which works better for us than Shadow Ball, which I was originally going to try to get, but in lieu of any other. Physical Ghost Stab moves, that's the best we're going to get from Randy Orton. At least it still hits Psychics and Ghosts super effectively. Next up is Batista, the Mega Incineroar. Levels, you know, Intimidate Ability, Flare Blitz, Brick Break, Focus Blast, and Bite. Focus Blast is what Batista learned at level 60, in case you guys uh, weren't aware of that. Mm. Brock Lesnar, the Mega Primarina. He has Surf, finally, of all things, Surf turned into a level 60 learning move, instead of an HM move. Ice Beam, Moon Blast, and Reflect. So let me explain that. Basically, the reason, um, oh, well, no, I'll explain it later, because it's not relevant for Mega Primarina. What is relevant are two new team members, Zapdos, The Rock. The most electrifying Pokemon in sports entertainment history. With Fly, Roost, Hidden Power, Flying, and Discharge. Yes, unfortunately, The Rock has Hidden Power Flying, and not something usably or interesting like, um... Like Hidden Power Ice. That's just my luck. Stack ability. Which is fine. Finally, Ricky... The Palkia Steamboat. <laughs> uh, with that good old-fashioned pressure ability and really nice stats, and it's all leveling up I did. And Ricky here has Earth Power, Dragon Pulse, Aqua Tail, and Spatial Red. Now, at first I thought that, um... Honestly, at first... Oh, and um... This is our new jobber here, the Krabby who's got Surf, Cut, and Strength. I was originally going to have him use Surf because no one else could learn Surf, but Krabby here can actually get it. Which is super weird to me, but whatever. So this entire video is going to be dedicated to freeing everyone from Slifco. It's going to take way more than 30 minutes to do that, though. Oh, I already have all those full heals. Interesting. Um, I think 10 revives is fine. I want to go broke, so we're just going to stick with that. <clears throat> Alright then, so basically... For the most part, this guy will stay in front of the gym until, I believe, you either earn the Poke Flute or until you defeat... Koga and get the Soul Badge. It's weird that t going to sleep is enough to make you move, like, one step to the left, but, eh. But the reason that Palkia can't learn Surf in this game, even though he actually is it, the reason that Ricky cannot learn Surf, even though the Palkia species has always been able to learn the Surf HM in every other game, is because in this game, 
the uh, Surf HM, as of Generation 7, is no longer an HM. Like, the weird thing is very specifically that Surf, by the time we get to Pokemon Sun and Moon, is actually a TM. And I don't know how you code HMs and TMs in this game specifically. Of course there's a Mega Kieran. Of course there is. You can already change... Wait, what? That's just Kieran Black. Mega Kieran Black? What? What? No, that's just Kieran Black. Alright, well anyway, the point is that... Why are you giving your random grunts Mega Kieran Blacks? Why are you so fool foolish as Ash to do that? Uh, okay, let's see. <clears throat> Basically, I don't know how you actually go about coding TMs and HMs into brand new ROM hack builds. I don't. I have no idea how that's done. I've even dabbled with making ROM hacks. I have, however, dabbled with editing an existing Pokemon Crystal ROM. And there are programs that allow you to dictate what exactly a Pokemon can learn uh, via level up. So my specific issue is that there is absolutely no reason to just not make Palkia learn in able to learn Surf. I haven't the faintest idea why he wouldn't be why he would prevent Palkia from being able to do that. Palkia get Surf. It's obvious. It's, a, it's an obvious move. But for some reason, whoever made this ROM hack thought, oh, this is no longer an HM, so Palkia should no longer be able to learn Surf, is really, really silly. What kind of strange mindset do you have to have in order to justifiably believe that? How do you think that's good gameplay design? Pokemon just arbitrarily losing out on decent... HM or TM moves entirely because you're just making a fire red rob hack. You know how gimped a lot of movesets in this game are for certain Pokemon because they don't have access to the TMs and HMs they're supposed to have? Palkia is one of them. Like, okay, look, I get it. Um. Mega Evolved Pokemon, permanent Mega Evolved Evolution should have some sort of drawback. So, fundamentally, I do understand why on that front you would prevent permanently Mega Evolved Pokemon from being able to learn any other moves, but the balancing is so weird. Why does a 95 base power stab Moonblast have 40 PP? Why? What is the purpose of that? We're gonna take on everyone this floor. Oh, you're fast than me? Huh. Snore. No, we just use Aqua. Uh, uh, like, the moveset... Don't get me wrong, there's still plenty of moveset options for Pokémon, because we do have reusable TMs. Along with infinite HMs, it's just... Objectively speaking, really bad gameplay design. Even worse than bad gameplay design, it just exposes how lazy this ROM pack is put together, despite all the things clearly added to it. Here. Oh, another thing about high jump kick. I just looked into it, and it turns out that every Pokemon that can learn high jump kick is actually going to be learning a move that has 10 base accuracy. Mel Metal's final level up move is High Jump Kick at level 90. And for some reason, some ungodly reason, High Jump Kick has like 10 accuracy. Yeah, see, it's in power flying because Electric types resist 
flying. It's such a really... Uh, I'm just super disappointed in myself right now. Like, Well, at least the base power that hidden power moves is decently high, because otherwise the stab would be enough to make up for the difference in damage I'm dealing. I wanted to get everyone up to level 60 because I wanted to... Uh, well, that's all I really have to say, because at this point, uh, the the state and condition of this ROM hack should be obvious to basically everyone now. Like, it's not a good ROM hack, but we're gonna just have whatever fun we can Get out of it. I should save. Oh, that's gross. Ugh. Ooh. Okay. Um. Oh, right. Um. You're a dragon type. Yeah, you're a dragon type. Like, I, I think I lost her train of thought. Poor Mentium. Yeah, I think I lost her train of thought. Oh no, that's right. I need to save before I keep pushing my luck and run to a, um, before I push my luck too hard and run to a Pokemon that's gonna reset the game with a glitched attack. Because there's a lot to collect, and because of that, there's actually a lot of experience points at the beginning because of how many rockets we can defeat. Not to mention all the money. Amulet coin leveling up is just wonderful. Ah. Like, Amulet coin one leveling up is just wonderful. Somewhere between 1800 to 2k a pop to 25k a pop just for. just for being really easy to beat moves. What? Wonder Guard? Okay. You dare put Wonder Guard on a fake mon? Really? Okay, so you're not weak to fire, fighting, or dark moves. Mm. Neither of you are we weak to. Grass? No. Flying? No. Dark. Oh no, we already know you're weak. You aren't weak to dark moves. Thanks for that. Brock Lesnar, you got water and ice moves. Our ice and fairy. No. Okay. Ice. Wow, you're not weak to ice. Okay. Moonblast. Not weak to fairy either. Alright. You're running out of Pokemon types. Let's go with electricity and 
We already have tried flying, let's go for electricity. No. That leaves Ricky. Ricky, pull through with your incredible, unbeatable. That's ground. So I'll just let this dragon. Well, this is a problem, because I'm. What are you weak to? I'm out of Pokemon types to try out. Nothing's weak to normal type. Nothing's weak to the normal attacks. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry about this. Alright. Yeah. That's not exactly running into a glitched move, but I genuinely don't have the time to... I genuinely do not have the time to try to figure out what that thing is weak to and why. It will literally take too long. <laughs> Focus Blast! <laughs> Focus Blast is such a worthless move. I don't even know why I gave it to Batista. He was better off with Thrash. And now he can't even relearn Thrash. What? Ow. Oh. oh boy. No. Oh, sorry. I remember you. So, the sad thing is, it just means we have to pay way more attention than what type of thing we detect. It means we have to pay way more attention to the type of things we put. I have to pay way more. Like, Jesus Christ, we're 17 minutes in already. 17 minutes. I wasted a lot of that just. Oh, right. Sometimes you'll get trainers who look like civilians in this place. <clears throat> Maybe help, they can deal with wheezing somehow. Lalias. Oh, you know I can just bite you to death. Well, you probably thought it was me. Let me tell you, you're completely right. You're a fairy type, I think, now, Wigglytuff. That's why I'm just gonna flare blitz you and get you out of Ooh! The amount of HP and damage it deals, and the amount of self inflicted damage I take. Hyper potions are. Man, we can just buy hyper potions in bulk. It just feels like. It just feels so good when you're able to buy hyper potions in bulk. So good, dude. <clears throat> Diggers be. You know, I always thought that Digger Speed with Hidden Power was a very interesting way to make the Raticate in the game. At least something you would consider using <clears throat> uh, competitively. At least not for a little bit. I'm not sure how well Digger Speed did in the early metagame for X and Y. But I'm just saying hypothetically, it just looks 
my floor. Barky. <clears throat> Focus punch. Oh, well. The strangest thing is that now you can't give Focus Punch to the Pokemon you think would need the most. You need Thunder Wave way more than... Alright, that's your move to your for there. Third floor. Alright, fine. When you're a kid, Slip Co. as a dungeon is like... the most ridiculously complex thing imaginable. Just... The idea of trying to navigate it. You know, as a child, I remember trying to navigate it for hours looking for the car key. And I was like, I was legit so lost. So lost that I'm really, really sure that the only reason I purchased that guide for Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow was because I got lost here. In Slifco. Like, I'm good at this type of stuff. But even I can admit when I'm stumped. I'm an idiot, though, like that. <clears throat> now, on for less relevant to Pokemon news. I, um, the family and I celebrated my grandmother and my great grandmother and great grandfather's 35th wedding anniversary today and to do it what happened is that we because of the you know current events going on right now what we had to do was use zoom for the first time in order to get the family together so to speak and have everyone get in touch with each other and communicate that way so, learning a couple of things about Zoom, it's actually kind of surprising to learn that free sessions of Zoom, well, that fits the atmosphere, I think. That fits the atmosphere. Like, yeah, some people would take advantage of these, um, rooms in order to just hide. They'll take neutral damage from this, which is the important part. Enough of your silly games, child. Well, everybody, enjoy your shiny lantern. It's weird that the shiny... I know that only wild Pokemon are supposed to show up as shiny, but the 5% shiny encounter rate this game has is clearly making something even rarer occur, where trainer Pokemon can apparently own shinies. And I'm just wondering if that's really supposed to be the case. Mona. <clears throat> Really? You're gonna use a level 45 Muna against me? Come on. The dude downstairs, like eight floors beneath you, has a Mega Kirin Black. Scientist guy, what is wrong with you? What are you actually doing? What did you do with your life? Well, if you're defending this place, I'm gonna do some really good stuff here. Mm. 
<clears throat> kind of weird, though, how the Amit coin is supposed to work in universe. Hey, I'm wearing this shiny amulet on my Pokemon. That means by the law, legally, you're required to give me twice the amount of money you're actually owed it to me because you lost in a meaningless street fight. That's just how it works in Pokemon Land. That's just weird. <clears throat> but yeah, back to Zoom. So basically, for the first time in my life, I used Zoom to seriously communicate with the family. And... It's very weird. But yeah, because of that, that was also the first time I personally used my Dell Inspiron laptops built-in... <coughs> built-in, um, face cam. No, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? No, no. The whole point of me avoiding that dude was... Woo! The whole point of me avoiding that dude was because we couldn't actually defeat him normally. Um... Yeah, there we go. Protein. Oh! Those thugs that took over our building. The boss said he was looking for strong Pokemon. I hope the president managed to avoid trouble. Okay. Okay. So basically, using Zoom is way different than using Skype. And I'm not just talking about the obvious reason. It's just... It's so much more personal being able to see the faces of your entire family when you're supposed to be, um, getting together for a family get-together. 35 years of marriage is an incredible thing to celebrate, and I'm happy for my great-grandmother and grandfather. Let me get personal for a little second. I'm also sad because my great-grandfather has developed Alzheimer's. The last time I saw him personally, he no longer remembered who I was or what I looked like. So I have to be very careful around it. I didn't want to disturb him or upset him. And it's very upsetting as a thing to know. That can happen to you if someone in your family. Besides because you just think after a while, things like that don't happen to you or things you, people you know, but they do. <clears throat> they do, they do a lot, and it always sucks when it does occur. We have to just band together and live through it. Just try to live through it. Oh no, Avalog? Oh, okay. Uh, Defensive Ice type is a massive oxymoron. Doesn't work. Not in practice. Not in execution, really. <clears throat> But yeah, anyway, dear old great-grandma and great-granddad, 35 years of marriage, getting as many of our family together on Zoom as possible. We had some trouble logging on to Zoom as a result of that. Like, we had trouble setting up the, you know, the, the meeting room where everyone's able to see one another, and then we had some trouble making sure everyone could actually see us. This is one of those Pokemon that can... Okay. Basically, we have some trouble saying, making sure the whole family can be gathered together for that one instance, basically. But... We got enough people around that we were all able to say what we need to say. Happy birthday... Not, not happy birthday, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Happy 35th anniversary of your marriage. It's incredible, and I hope you guys are able to just keep keep going, keep doing it. It was very brief, though, because I also learned that if you're using a free Zoom, setting up a free room, then what happens is that you get timed out after 
felt like half an hour from the whole way we were able to start it up. Like, in half an hour of free time. That just does feel... It does feel odd to me, no matter what. Like, once you get the... It feels odd to me. But, so what we decided to do was, um, reschedule the majority of the... Majority of the entire thing for... We're, we're, we're scheduling. We're gonna try to make it longer, or make sure everyone's able to log on easier, faster, so we can spend as much time together as a family doing stuff like that. Woo! Bulk up. Do you have any idea how ridiculously good bulk up would be on so many of our Pokemon? Do you know how much... How much our fighting type, dark type, would love bulk up? I'm not even gonna put it on Palkia because set moves like that just don't break. Hang on, uh, flying type? No, you resist ice. So you're water type. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Some of these puns give away the element that the Pokemon belongs to. It's just weird. Oh, there's a legendary in here. I think there's a legendary Pokemon in every significant place you can go to at this point. Vector 2. Yeah, that was super effective. Good call. Get no. I can get rid of you. I should just Aqua Tail you. Pyrote. Eh, Aqua Tail again. Real down frost. Some real time forms will glitch your game out with a certain move, and other real time forms struggle to death because they have no moves. It's weird. Hmm. Team Rock was after my the Master Ball, which catches any Pokemon. Okay. Chill out, buddy. You're all going to be saved, so chill out. I mean, yeah, that's that's actually really good enemy placement. Like, why wouldn't someone assume that you're a Slift Code scientist if they also win and assume you're a... Ooh, Avalanche, okay. Someone wouldn't actually assume you belong to Slift Code. That's just the bottom line. And because you can tackle the floors in any order, it's really interesting and does induce a bit of paranoia in the player who's determined to challenge the Slifco dungeon in one trip. Sir, that's clearly not as far as I'm going to go, so I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, I had a choice between Aura Sphere and Earth Power for Ricky Steamboat, and I stuck with Earth Power because I reasoned that it hit four types super effectively. And those were Rock, Steel, fire, uh, rock, steel, fire, and poison. But I had completely forgotten about the simple fact that that also there was also a fifth type that ground types were super effective against, and that was electricity. 
So I really, I'm really, really glad I kept Earth Power instead of Aura Sphere. Like, holy crap. I guess you're getting it. Dang, uh. Team Rocket's boss is terribly cruel. The hand Pokemon are just tools to be used. What will happen to the tyrant that takes over the company? Okay. I think we've battled and defeated every Rocket Brother so far. So no, we're gonna switch over to you. Ooh! Hmm. I think The Rock is cooking some mushrooms for dinner tonight. So... Oh wait, what am I doing? This is the perfect thing to use a Dragon-type Pokémon against. Well, the second perfect thing. The actual best thing is Brock Lesnar, because Fairy-types are actually straight up better for dealing with other dragons. <laughs> But, we're here. <sighs> damn. Damn. There's no way to do that. There's no way I got him to do that. You're causing us problems. You need to be taken care of. I didn't expect that to be one of KO'd me, honestly. Key. All complicated words make no sense. Yeah, because you're supposed to be like 11. Huh, okay. That's a bit of a ridiculous move. What about you? No. Alright. Did I already defeat you? I feel like I beat I'll leave you to your brothers. Are your brothers behind here? No. Your brothers are not going to defeat me. <clears throat> Exploiting weak spots does work. Think about type advantages. If you've gotten this far in the game and you haven't had to deal with type advantages, that's just because the game Oh, so you have to be the last Rocket Brother then. But yeah, if you've gotten this far in the game, you haven't had to worry about type advantages. More than likely, the game doesn't really need... More than likely, you either just relied on having one strong Pokémon the entire way through. Psychic type. More than likely, you can lie to just. Like, when I first played a Pokemon game, Pokemon Red. Yeah, there we go. Don't give up. Yeah, thank you. More than likely, you did what I did, and you just relied on your starter and only ever attacked people with your starter. That's all you did. That's all you ever did. <clears throat> that's because the games aren't hard enough that you're able to... That's why you can pretty much just... Look at all those... Can you beat this Pokemon game with this first stage basic Pokemon with terrible um, um, stats and whatever? Of course you can. Fundamentally, you can. Now, to be fair, the question is more often than not, not can you literally do it, but how much effort would it take for you to do it? Because some of these victories and defeats, even with my level 100 Pokemon, come down to luck more than anything else.
they really do come out of luck sometimes because a lot of it is just... A lot of it can really just... If the AI gets lucky against you or if you get too unlucky against the AI, there is no reason for you to be able to succeed to the degree where you can, um... There's no reason for you to be a success. There's no reason for you to be a success. If luck is the only reason you can keep consistently getting past a certain member of the Elite Four or get past anything in the game, then more often than not, you can, but only if the game wants you to is the actual answer to that question. Oh, hey, a shiny Pyro. Okay. Pyro is part normal type for some reason. I don't know why being a lion... I don't know why being a lion, being a lion thing makes you easier for a fighting type Pokemon to defeat, but it's whatever. Sturdy. Yeah. What do you mean, Shell Smash? Like, why are you using Karakasa but no Shell Smash? I don't get that. Forty-one minutes into this video, and we're playing the entire video on Turbo at this point. Like, this would taken us forever if we were playing at all speed. Jesus. Zinc. Do the last one. All right. Four, three. Gary Oak. What kept you, Melon? Ha ha ha. I know you turned up my way here. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. <sighs> oh. It's rival Gary Oak. Oh, your first Pokemon is a Pound On. That's funny. My first Pokemon is a Mega Besudii. Ray Orton, R A R K O, out of nowhere. Like everything about Randy Orton right now is just about as out of nowhere as possible. Oh, What would, what would really have been out of nowhere, though, is if my laptop just died on me <laughs> before I had the chance to finish this episode. Jesus Christ. This might even go to an hour, despite my intentions, solely because I'm Pheasant. Now we just sweep with ice, dude. Like, why do you have on Pheasant? This is just, like, I edited the Rivals Pokemon team before for every encounter. There's literally no reason for you to have done this all the time. You know what? You'd never be able to see it if I didn't do this, so I'm just going to show you. Lou, you smell what the rock is cooking. Namely, your Polyrath. Smoldering you. Nah. Rack what? Rack no row? What? Discharge. Yeah, okay. Um You know what? Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is here. That's fine, I'll take the hit. You have I I mean, I guess we both took put our stars away because it just wasn't a point for it, but I'll move on ahead. By checking my Pokedex and starting to see what's strong and how they evolve, am I a genius or what? I'm going to Pokemon League to boot up the Elite Four. I'll become the most powerful Pokemon trainer in the world. 
Melon, well, go to you, don't sweat. Sweat you later. Yeah, it's gonna go to an hour. Uh, no. No Lapras. Alright. Here. We have to deal with you no matter what we do, so. Top right there, don't move. Dude, how am I just gonna top you right here? You want me to top you right here? Really? Why? Isn't the floor gonna be uncomfortable for you? I would like this video to be a nice 45 minutes, but we can't have everything we want. Nah, that's fine. The tree is probably good steel type. Whatever. Oh no, you're faster. Ouch. Right. Alright. Alright, alright, uh. All right. <clears throat> Time for Boss Rocket. Ah, Melon. So we do meet again. The President and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters. Or experience a world of bang. Whatever, shrimp. You still have a Miss Drevis at level 57? Why did you give one of your grunts a mega legendary key rim? What is Giovanni's plan? Is he really going to accomplish anything by handing away powerful legendary Pokémon to his most worthless uh, officers? Is he that confident in his skills that he thinks he can beat me with a god-forsaken Luminion? Really? <laughs> You're weak to flying. That's weird. Seeking? No, absolutely not. I don't care if your sea king's made out of. I don't. The rock doesn't care if your sea king's made out of shiny gold. It's still getting paralyzed. It's still getting destroyed by electricity. It's still gonna get destroyed by flying moves. There we go. Woo! Look at that gold. Blast it all! You ruined our plans for Sliff. But Team Rocket will never fall. Melon, never forget that all Pokemon exist for Team Rocket. I must go, I shall return. And by helping the president, I will never forget you saved us in this moment of power. I have to thank you in some way, because I'm rich, I can give you anything. Here, maybe this will do. A Master Ball. You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. You'll catch any Pokemon without fail. Be quiet about using it, though. Yeah. Thank you for asking all of us. We are indebted to you all. Yeah, I'm glad you are, are. You should be. Alright. How much do we make? Woo! We're in the set six digit figures, boys. That's a lot of money. Alright, man. Well, that's it for the Slift Co. Dungeon Trek. Next episode is gonna be the two gyms of Saffron City. So thank you guys for watching. By the way, Episode 20 uh, is being recorded a day after I did episode 19, so if you're confused about anything in this video, that is the reason why the levels jumped up a bit. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time in my Let's Play of Pokemon Advanced Version. This is Very Melon Man signing off, telling you all to have a good day and to enjoy using Zoom to experience family get-togethers.